All right, guys, I love getting these prototypes of these really good micro brands. I get that first glimpse of it. I get to share it with you and everything, and I get to talk directly to the people that are, you know, integrated into the process that are creating these. In this case, it's Shane Snyder. You guys probably recognize that name. He's the founder of the Watcha, Fa Watcha Facebook group. He's also co-owner of this along with, I'm not sure who else he's involved with on it, but I know Christian is definitely involved in it. Um, he's That's the uh, owner of Ocean Crawler, which I have an Ocean Crawler over there. Maybe I'll grab it and share them next to each other and you guys will see some of the styling cues. Certainly, if you're familiar with the Ocean Crawler, you'll notice that cursive writing down uh, below the uh, hand stack there, just above the six, you'll see that's the name of the watch. And this one is the Bathel Verde, meaning the green. And the brand name is ESO or ESO. Um, it's abbreviated for esoteric. Um, so there's some meaning behind that. And I'll let you go ahead and read that in the description of the uh, website, which I'll put a link in the description, which these launch in a pre-order state on the 5th well like probably when i post this video they'll be in pre-order so um, jump on them that's the best deal you're going to get just like a lot of micro brands that don't do the crowdfunding or the uh, kickstarter you know that sort of thing when they do these pre-orders um, you remove yourself from that type of venue and you enter directly in a relationship with the brand owners so and that gives you the best deal possible so the pre-order on this is 599 dollars please understand this is a snapshot in time so don't you know a year from now be like hey i can't find one of these for 599 they're selling them for 799 599 is the pre-order price so let's get into the watch now that i've babbled on enough about that so you're looking at a 44 millimeter case you can see unique case shape and overall styling cues but 44 millimeter case 46.9 lug to lug so a little bit shorter lug to lug so it's yeah it's 44 but it's going to wear really good because of that shorter lug to lug and you can see the bracelet tapers down immediately very short um solid end link on that bracelet and then that center part is part of the first articulating link so it's going to add to comfort the thickness i gave you um i'm going to give you a couple different measurements from the case back to the top of the bezel is like 12 and three quarter. If you get all the way up to the boxed sapphire, it's like 13.9. So keep that in mind. Um, you know, overall it's a little bit thicker, but I tend to like to try to exclude the crystal because it really doesn't play a role in the overall thickness, like when it's on wrist. Uh, you guys that wear sometimes a little bit thicker watches understand what I'm saying. 22 millimeter lug width here. The bracelet is a non-tapering, um, nice, Links here are shorter, so you're going to be able to get a size just right. Fold over clasp, three micro adjust. Pretty simple operation here. I like that. It's nice and thin. But it also, with those shorter links, you're going to be able to get a correct size, no problem. Now, Shane did point out to me that because of the short um, end links here, which guys that like to change bracelets to straps and stuff like that, when you have the short and links like that it can be a bugger to get those suckers back in getting them off no big deal right getting it back on can be a little tricky so they are working on or have developed a um a quick release much like uh, some other brands have done in the micro brand world where you can you know grab it with your fingers or a tool or something like that and pop it out so that'll make putting it back together very well not very easy but definitely doable Nice oversized and shaped over, um, screw down crown because this is a 600 meter water resist watch, I think. Ah, I could, yeah, 3,000 feet, 600 meter. So um, very easy to operate. Nice sharp um, cuts into that, nice pop to it. And then, of course, you're going to be able to do your uh, hacking and your time setting here. And then, of course, you can do your date change, all that good stuff. Uh, very solid, very easy to use. I like that. Uh, the movement is a Miota 9015, so it's going to be a you know 28,800 beat movement. So nice smooth sweep of the seconds hand there. Um, there's three, no four colors total. Three, three colors in the stainless steel case. This is the verde green, right? Um, there's a uh, I don't know how to say it, G R I S, um, which is 
stands for gray. There's like a gray dial one. And then there's the azul, which is the blue dial one. All three of those colors look really good. And they have a um, sandwich dial and nice loom and everything like that. We'll do a loom shot at the end. And then there's another uh, coated, black coated case with like yellow accents and trim. You'll see it when you click on the website. That one's, uh, I forget what that one's called, but that one's really cool too. Uh, weight on this, I have to, usually I don't disclose weight just because most watches are within a certain spectrum. You guys kind of just get it, you know, you don't really need to mention it. But this one is a, a little bit heavier, but not unwieldy heavy, if that makes sense. I measure sized for maybe a little bit bigger than my wrist. 209 grams in comparison a Seiko Monster size for my wrist is 175 grams so a little bit heavier than a Seiko Monster but like I said it's not like you know 260 grams like I've um, had on the channel some watches like this size that just weigh a lot more so and I think that's just because it's it's a little bit you know 44 it looks like a little bit bigger but it's really not that thick of a watch either so you can see really nice uh, angled polished relief there that's going to aid in the comfort of a 44 millimeter watch on your wrist and then that's matched on the top side uh, brushing is uh, up and down there on that and then the bracelets all brushed mostly brushed uh, watch really except for those polished reliefs which are nice um, especially on the bottom side because that just aids in the comfort of it on wrist speaking of on wrist let me pop it on wrist 120 click bezel I really like the steel bezel you guys know I'm a fan of the all metal bezels so this watch is definitely in my wheelhouse and I like that it's a little more unique shaped kind of retro inspired in its color palette and its uh, case you know look features and certainly that um, bezel insert there which is it an insert no that's that's not an insert I don't think or maybe it is yeah maybe it is I don't know I think it is an insert so uh, 120 click, like I said, smooth and consistent all the way around. Everything lines up, except for I went one too far. And again, this is a prototype, so if there, I did it again. So if there's anything uh, funky with it or whatever like that, that'll be cleaned up in final production. So you get a closer look at that green dial. That is just a beautiful dial. Shane, if you're watching this, I'm assuming you will. Don't change the color on these. I love the splash of orange on the... Uh, model name and then paired up with that uh, green transitioning to a darker almost black on the outside the sandwich dial always love seeing that um, I you know a lot of people like the uh, applied indices if the watch is done right I almost prefer the sandwich dial and then I don't know if you guys notice this or not you don't see this very often either it's hard to tell on this one green date wheel they color match the date wheel on this Thank you, thank you, thank you for going that extra step. I love, that's what I love about micros. They have the ability and flexibility to do things that some other brands just don't do for whatever reason because they're pulling from such a large parts bin that fit, you know, models across the board. When a micro brand makes a one model, they get to play around with it a little bit more. And I dig that about micro brand. So you can see a really nice handset there. High polished matching loom uh, should be like a, a ra uh, like an old radium type loom, but uh, Shane said something like it's a weird mix compound where they got BGW nine and C three and stuff like that. So I'm, I'm excited about the loom; it's nice and potent. So let me um, do that loom shot right now. I think we covered everything. If you guys have any questions on this watch, I'll probably have it for maybe a few days, and then I'll get one uh, later once the you know they do the order fulfillment. Um, I'll get another one on the channel. So, And I'm, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get this green one. I think I like this one the most. So there you can see the loom. Excellent loom. They're able to get it very thick underneath that with that sandwich dial. So, Alright guys, thanks for watching. Big thanks to Shane for hooking me up with this. And I'll catch you on the next video.